Unleash the power of knowledge and connect with the heartbeat of the African diaspora. Download our African Diaspora News Channel app now on Google Play and Apple App Store. Stay informed with authentic and diverse perspectives, breaking news and cultural insights. Immerse yourself in a community that celebrates unity, resilience and progress. Experience the vibrancy of the diaspora at your fingertips. Don't miss out. Empower your perspective today. Search African Diaspora News Channel and join the conversation. Zimbabwe police have charged the self-proclaimed prophet Ishmael and they rescued 251 children. The self-proclaimed prophet was keeping 251 children on his property and he has been charged for exploiting them. Police said that Ishmael, who is 56 years old, led a sect with more than 1,000 members in Zimbabwe Harare. And according to reports, these children were being used for free labor. Most of them didn't even have their birth certificate, so they don't even know their age, they don't even know where he got them from, everything looks shady. And by the way, the reason he gives for using them for free labor is because he says, according to him, it's to teach them life skills. Let me show you this clip, we'll come back and discuss. A sect leader and self-styled prophet appeared in a Zimbabwe court on Thursday, charged with child abuse after police raided his farm and rescued 251 children. Police said the children, quote, were subjected to abuse as cheap labor, doing manual work in the name of being taught life skills. Police found the children on the farm were not attending school and most did not have birth certificates. They also found 16 graves, including seven for infants, all of which were unregistered, police said. 56-year-old Ishmael Chagarange was arrested this week, along with seven of his church members following a raid on their farm about 18 miles west of the capital Harare. He appeared alongside seven congregants before a magistrate's court and all eight of them were charged with violating the children's right and contravening burial and cremation law. And the sad part about this is, even though he's using the children for free labor, he's not even sending them to school. They're not getting education. All they're doing is work for him for free, and that's it. This is actual abuse, and that is the reason why he's been taken to court, and not to mention some of them we don't even know where they came from. He didn't even have their birth certificate. So this story might even get deep after investigation. Unfortunately, this is not the first person to fool people or to claim that he is a prophet or he is sent by God. There was a, a man that we even covered last time. He was telling his people that he knows the gate to heaven and people actually believe him and they pay him. He asked for a specific amount of money for him to show you the gate of heaven because he found it, right? Apparently. And so people were being fooled by him. Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Channel. I am Ongil Zalalem. And today we're talking about a pastor charging $700 to take people to heaven. Yeah, that is actually happening. A pastor is in trouble after telling people he knows of a gate leading to heaven from southwestern Nigeria that he can show them for a fee. Pastor Ade Abraham was reported to police by one of his followers who said the pastor had charged him 310,000 naira, which is about $750, to see the supposed site in Araromi Ugbeshi town, Ikiti state. The pastor admitted that he had made the statement about Heaven's Gate, saying it was the, quote, the God he serves who revealed it to him to try the faith of his church members, but says he has not received any payment. The Christian Association of Nigeria has released a statement disowning Pastor Ade Abraham and Ikiti State Police have collected written statements from members of his church and launched an investigation. Like this is really happening and I'm so glad that he's being investigated. First of all, let, let's, let's talk about that and then we'll laugh about it a little bit more, okay? 
I am so glad that they're investigating him. The police said like they've gotten a recent statement from, you know, his followers and as well as the Christian Association um, of Nigeria has also disowned him. So <laughs> that there's a good start. But it's insane, man. Like I used to get mad back in the days. I'm like, how can they fool people like this? Like they're supposed to be leaders. They're supposed to lead people to do better, to get close to God, to know God, to teach people about God. And yeah, now I laugh because after all this information that we have gathered as people, as collective, if we still um, give airtime and give money to this kind of person then I don't know I think we deserve it like $750 to show you <laughs> the gate to heaven it's just it sounds so ridiculous that I mean I would hope that no one believes it but unfortunately there are still gullible people in this day and age in 2022 that will believe this um, and pay $750 to see the gate heaven and just recently we've been covering the story of the cult leader in Kenya and that is even more gruesome because over 100 people lost their lives over this self-proclaimed leader the Kenyan cult leader named Paul McKenzie has been charged for unaliving 191 people we have been following up on this story for months now. There was ups and downs. There was a time when we thought he was gonna get away with unaliving people. But now reports are saying that the cult leader that has been charged for unaliving people, more than 400 bodies were found buried, but he's only being charged for 191 of them. This is a sad sad story families are still mourning the people that they've lost these examples should be enough for our government as well as the society to pay attention and to focus on what's really going on be behind closed doors or even in your neighborhood if you don't pay attention to what's happening if you're not vigilant it might be you tomorrow it might be a family member because these people are good at convincing others and leading them into the direction that they want them to go unfortunately a lot of people have already lost their lives because of this kind of cut leaders but i think it's about time that we start questioning and paying attention to what they're doing because if they're doing something that goes against the law they need to be held accountable they need to pay the price anyways fam let us know down below what your thoughts are about this i am on gilza lalem i'll see you on the next